Now I want to show you hair perfume. I'm pretty excited about this. So I'm going to move this bowl. So for this one, you want to make sure to get a um, mister, like a fine mist bottle. And like Leah was saying, glass. And I used to be a hair perfume junkie slash just a perfume junkie in general, but it was pretty bad because if I'm using hair perfume, I'm spraying all that drying alcohol like right on my hair, which is really bad. Um, but now that I've discovered this, I'm really excited. I found this while we were preparing for this class. So this is what I'm going to be using. So for this hair perfume, you need rose water here. I got this at Whole Foods. You can get it there on Amazon. You need a third cup, and I'm going to actually just pour it in here. I think my bottle might be a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to fill it up most of the way and leave some room for the other ingredients and then top it off. So the next ingredient is a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yum. I know, right? Yum. That's going to be delicious. And this is alcohol-free vanilla from Trader Joe's, so non-drying. Now, I need a... <laughs> I know you guys can't really see, but I'll show it once it's in there. Um, there's a lot of supplies around me right now, so I'm just finding the logical way to drop this in. Okay, so now it's a little brown here. And this is really cool about the hair perfume because you can customize it based on what you want. So the recipe calls for ylang ylang, rosemary, sandalwood, lavender, and grapefruit oil. If you don't have some of those or you wanna sub in your own, you can do that. So I'm gonna do um, patchouli. I'm obsessed with patchouli right now. It's a really nice, as you can imagine, like musky perfume kind of smell. And it's great to use in the winter because it boosts your dopamine and your happy chemicals. So I've been loving diffusing this to help with, um, you know, the transition to winter. I'm going to do five drops of this. And uh, you can see patchouli comes out really slow <laughs> also. And it's the oil of um, physicality and loving your body just as it is. So that's the emotional level. And I am gonna do rosemary because I really love rosemary. I'm gonna add four drops of that just like in the recipe. Three, four. Now I don't have grapefruit, but I have white grapefruit, which was like a special limited edition kind of oil and it smells really um, a little bit lighter than grapefruit, I guess, like not as citrusy. I like it. So I'm going to do three drops of that. And I am going to do, oh my God, I love Siberian fur. Um, it's also very like foresty, woodsy. Um, I like that kind of perfume. So I'm going to add that in. I'm going to do um, four drops of this. And then for the last one, I'm going to do the lavender, like it calls for three drops of lavender. So I feel like that will just bring everything together. And then I'll top it off with the rose water. The rose water smells amazing. And like Aaliyah and I were talking about before, you can use it for so many things. You can use it as a toner. I actually love to make a face spray with it um, that I would use <laughs> when I was traveling, which we're not really doing so much right now, but it's a great um, refresher for like dry skin and um, it's very hydrating. And I like to add a few drops of grapefruit to it and basil that would really like wake you up and be cooling after a flight. Um, but you can make your own like toning spray like that. Just get another fine mister like this. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my God. That smells so good. It actually smells like perfume. I think I might use this as just actual perfume. Oh my God, you're making me jealous. Emily. Oh my God, you, you guys have to use this recipe yourself because I did not know how that combination was, but I think 
that patchouli and the vanilla, like this is, this is golden. Wow. And I got this bottle on Amazon. Wow. So that's, that's awesome. That's going to be used daily now. 